What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. Today we are actually in Ohio visiting my family. I'm so excited and happy to be home. And of course while we're here we had to do a little thrift shopping. We are with my mom but she's being a little camera shy and doesn't want to be in the video so it's just going to be Spencer and I vlogging our little shopping trip. Hopefully we do good. Honestly we haven't been thrifting in so long. It's probably been since I don't know, like October, November. It's been a long, long time. Hopefully we find something either for ourselves or to resell, but either way, let's get going. First store, let's go. So Spencer just came over to show me what he got. We've only been here like two minutes and he found this really nice Gucci sweater. It's, only it's actually in the section where they have all the better stuff. And they usually mark it up more, but it's only for five minutes. Yeah, it's not bad. It's got this nice logo, Gucci on the zipper. I don't know how well it's gonna show. Some of the prices here are just absolutely ridiculous. This is just a PacSun um, overall thing, and it's not even new, but they're asking $35. That's probably what it would be at the store on sale. It's just so insane. So why would you carry Fendi when you could carry Endy? <laughs> this is so bad, if you guys can see. It's literally ease, and then it also kind of looks like Louis Vuitton, the way the hardware and stitching is. $20. Yeah, Endy could be yours for even. <laughs> a couple things I found for myself that I'm really excited about. A um, couple Lululemon things. I got a pair of these white leggings. I love these. I think they're so nice. And they're only $25. And they sell the tag. They're like brand new. And then I also got this really cute um, pullover my mom found. It's hooded. It's $30. But what I love about it is that it says Lululemon across the back. I think it's so cute. And then my mom found this really nice Tory Burch cardigan. It has these really cool pockets with like a leather buckle trim. Really awesome. It's like a really long cardigan. It's so nice. And I didn't think 25 was too bad. Unfortunately, it's not half off, but still not a bad price. And this is absolutely hideous, but it's St. John and these resell really well. They're very expensive now. They're like over a thousand dollars. It's absolutely hideous, but for $15, I know she can make a really good profit on it. So what'd you get? Okay, so the second suit I looked at, this is what I found. Wait, that's the wrong side. <laughs> there we go. Ooh, full nice. suit. It's only thirty dollars for a full suit, which is good. Then I also looked at um, probably hundred other suits and didn't find anything. <laughs> This is disgusting. I don't know if you guys can see, but look how staticky my hair is. <laughs> I did find these in the shoes, but they're just asking way too much. They want $45 for them, and I just don't think it's worth it. I have to show you guys my favorite sanitizer. This is the world we live in. Welcome to 2021. Um, but this is so good. It's from Bath & Body Works, and it's their eucalyptus and spearmint sanitizer. I'm pretty sure that's like their stress relief scent. And it smells so good if you guys like get headaches from other sanitizers like I do. I definitely recommend trying this out. It was only like $5 plus I had a 20% off coupon and I wish I would have picked up more because it smells so good. Stopped at Panda Express to get a little lunch. I got the chow mein with the orange chicken and I'm about to dig in. It looks so good. Can I get a medium froza, frozen matcha latte? Medium frozen matcha latte? Um, with, with almond milk. Duncan now has frozen matcha lattes and I am so here for it. I freaking love matcha. So I just started going through the jackets and I found this amazing Giorgio Armani leather jacket. It is so, so pretty and they have it marked down to $50. It seems like they've had it for a while just because they've had so many different tags on it. But I feel like 50 might not be too bad. I'm gonna ask Spencer because he definitely knows more about the brand Armani than I do. Another thing I found in the jackets is this Patagonia zip up. The only thing is it does have some loose stitching and it's marked at $20, but blue is half off. 
So I'm gonna ask Spencer. I'm not too good with brand Patagonia, so I'm gonna see what he says and let me know what you guys would pay for a jacket like this. When they're asking at $25 for a fake BNG coat, yeah, I don't think so. First time ever finding this brand at a thrift store. I have found it before at TJ Maxx when I was doing a little retail arbitrage, um, but it's my first time finding it at a thrift store, so I'm pretty excited. So I got pretty lucky finding this in the sweaters. It's a brand All Saints, and usually this thrift store always marks this brand up, but it was only marked at $8. It's just this like long sleeve knit shirt, and it has these like leather patches here on the elbows, which is kind of cool. Met up with Spencer, and now we're just going through the cart. We're trying to decide if this is too much. It's a Tory Burch cardigan. They want 15. I feel like we're probably gonna end up passing. I also think it's kind of ugly. Spencer also found a bunch of these Robert Graham shirts in the men's and also a double R. Okay, look at these gems in the back. I want them so bad, but they are so overpriced. They're asking $350. There's some really nice stuff back here though. I also really like the Versace scarf, but it's also way overpriced and like 200. I am so tired and so ready to go. I feel like the worst part about thrifting is having to go through your cart at the end and just like putting everything back just feels like such a waste of time. Are you happy with how we did overall? Yeah, pretty decent. Yeah. Not too bad. <laughs> Acquired the goods. So we're back in the car. We are all done thrifting. Now we just have to run some errands and we're gonna hang out with my brother tonight. I'm so excited. I have yet to see him. Um, but overall, I think it was a pretty decent day shopping. We didn't find a ton of things, but overall we did pretty good. And it was just fun being able to shop with my mom and spend the day with her. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Hopefully I got enough footage. It was like really crowded today. So it was kind of awkward to try and vlog in the store. But I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. And if you wanna see more shop with me, source with me thrift with me kinds of videos please give this video a thumbs up it really helps my channel out and i will see you guys in my next video bye see ya she's a mona lisa everyone's lining up to see her there must be something that feeds her